ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Stregi, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Delusions of Grandeur. I'm your host, David Sreggi, and here I have another short film review. Uh, uh, this time, uh, it is another film uh, uh, from female filmmaker uh, Wendy Keeling um, from Seven Bridges Productions again. Uh, and uh, this uh, short f uh, film is, uh, was filmed in 2017, um, and it is called Shades of Scarlet. Um, having watched uh, the, uh, uh, the Unconventional Gourmet, uh, her previous film, it, 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 it was definitely a more humorous atmosphere. Uh, Shades of Scarlet has more darker subject matter altogether, but not without its humorous moments. Uh, when Richard uh, returns as Bob Tribble, a, a man who has either escaped custody for a sexual crime as the switchblade uh, blade rapist, or uh, just been uh, been released as he's driving um, along, stopping at roadside uh, restaurants, but is disappointed when people actually recognize him. In any case, he ends up in a sad state uh, up at a no-name bar when a woman starts up a conversation dressed as a nurse named Scarlet as she tries to pick him up. Little does he know what's in store for himself, as Scarlet has an agenda and a rude awakening in store for Bob. I thought that this sh uh, short film was comical in its own way. Uh, um, not the, uh, 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 <laughs> the storyline was more heartfelt, as it, it was a very twisted but moral ending. I think that there have been many instances in the face of justice that one has thought of taking justice into one's own hands. Uh, as sometimes the system lets certain creeps fall through the cracks. And uh, though the short film was an attempt at a humorous angle, ended up being more humanistic in the end. Uh, uh, so well done, uh, Wendy. Um, I think the acting on both part uh, parties, on Wynn and when, uh, Wendy, complement each other. Uh, though, yes, again, it technically was from a darker source material. Uh, they were pulling at uh, being that of a law-abiding law citizen. Um, I think that it, this was an intelligently scripted film for the fact that it was very lighthearted and merry, but tur uh, turned so in your face kind of, you know, uh, a reality. Um, I think if you're at a film festival that it, it, it's playing at, you should definitely catch this film, as it is blatantly honest and enjoyable to watch. I would certainly recommend this film. Uh, it, it, it has just the ending that pulls at one's heartstrings. Um, like I said, it uh, star, uh, stars Wynn Ratcher as Bob Tribble, Wendy Keeling as Scarlett, as Susanna Devereaux as uh, a restaurant manager, uh, David Dittmore as uh, bartender, uh, uh, Lucy Turner as Jenny, um, Heather Liddington as a newscaster, Lynn Becker as Louise Sadler, uh, um, John Hamlin as uh, the cook, Jackie Hayes as restaurant patron, um, uh, Les uh, Leslie Ann M McQuitty as a bar patron, uh, Les uh, uh, Lisa Messer as a bar patron, um, Melissa uh, Messer as a bar patron, Lori Blaylock Turner 
as a restaurant patron and Jeffrey Wilkerson as a bar patron. So definitely check the film out if you have not along its festival run. Um, I believe it's nearing its end, um, but um, I certainly enjoyed watching this film and being able to uh, uh, review it. So um, thank you so much, Wendy, for letting me be a part of your uh, film career life, life and uh, uh, hopefully others uh, find this film as entertaining as I did. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I will continue my uh, describing the films uh, as I move forward here. So uh, thank you so much. Enjoy.